everyone, I'm Miss Jennifer, Teen Librarian with the Jefferson Parish Library. Thank you for joining us today for our Craft & Go program. Today I'm going to show you how to make either a paracord bracelet or a paracord keychain using our Craft & Go paracord kits. See the description below for directions on how to request this free kit. Please remember that all Craft & Go kits are first come first served while supplies last. In each kit you will find paracord, one buckle, one keyring, and one carabiner. You will also need scissors and a lighter. Please get parents permission or guidance with this step. I'm starting with the bracelet first. Take your buckle and unclip it, separating the ends. Next, you're going to grab your cord and fold it in half evenly, creating a loop at one end similar to this. Then grab a buckle, doesn't matter which end you choose, and feed the cord from either the top or bottom like so. You should be able to see a loop created here. Once you've fed in the cord, grab your ends, like so, and feed them through that loop you just made. Pull it through and tighten snugly against the buckle, like so. Next, grab the other end of your buckle and grab your two ends of your cord and feed those ends through the other end of the buckle. Pull through like so. Now I'm gonna clasp the buckle and check the sizing on my wrist. You wanna make sure that it's snug but not too tight. Make sure you leave a little extra room to work with. Things do tend to shift a little when you're starting out. To get started, we're gonna get everything situated here. We're going to make sure that the two ends are separated and that the middle strand is nice and straight. To start the weave, make sure that you're grasping the buckle nice and firmly and make sure that your strands are all nice and untangled and your middle strand is nice and straight. To get started, you want to take the left end strand and cross it over the middle strand. Pull that right strand over that left strand that just crossed and then push it to the round the back and pull it through the loop you just made on the other side. Now you want to tighten it up nice and snug up against that buckle. This can be a little tricky because you don't want to mess up your sizing by moving your buckle too much. But give it a nice good tug and tighten it up nice and snug. Now we're going to start from the right side. We're going to take the right strand and make a loop. Cross the middle strand like so. And then we're going to pull that left strand over that right and then push it behind the middle and pull it through that loop. And then give it a nice good tug. Make sure it's nice and tight. The tighter your stitches are, the more even your weave is going to look and more uniform it's going to look. So now we're going to move on to the next stitch. We're going to start from the left side. Again, you're just going to basically alternate sides. So you're going to start with the left, cross over, and then Pull that from behind and come up through that loop and pull nice and tight. And we're just going to keep doing this over and over. So I'm keep tightening. Okay, I'm trying to make it nice and tight. So I'm going to start from the right this time and cross over. Make sure the left strand comes over that right, 
and then push it around the back and bring it up through that loop. Give it a nice tug, nice sharp tug. I like to pull in the middle sometimes just to make sure it's nice and snug. And then do another one from the left side this time, cross over, pull that over the left side strand, and then push it up behind and through that loop. You can tell we're getting these nice little humps on the sides. So these are a good indication, like if you get lost, you can always look at these sides. Um, and this side right here, that means that's where you stopped. That's the last one you did. So you're gonna start from that side. So that's a good indicator. If you get lost or if you have to set it down, you can't remember um, where you finished. I'm gonna do one more after this, just to show you one more time how to do this. So we have that little hump on the left side there. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna cross over, pull the right one over the left, push up behind the middle and through the loop. And we're gonna give it a nice, good tug. And you'll see how the nice stitch comes out. So I'm gonna finish up and then come back towards the end to show you how to finish up the bracelet. So here we are, we're almost done. See it's come out really nice and um, pretty. So we've got about two more stitches left here. So I'm gonna finish these up real quick and then I am going to show you how to finish your bracelet off. Right here, this is one last stitch. You can leave that without putting that last stitch in there, but I like to make it nice and, and snug there. So here it is, your finished bracelet, nice and pretty. All right, so now we're all done with our bracelet and we're gonna snip off these ends here with our scissors. You might wanna get a parent or guardian to help you with these next two steps. So you're gonna cut it nice and short up against the bracelet and you're gonna take the lighter and singe that in up against the up against the bracelet. Make sure you don't do it in front of a fan. Make sure you get your parents or your guardians to help you with this step. And please do not touch it. Use the lighter to flatten it out and after a few seconds, it'll be cool and you can touch it and smooth it down. So you're gonna repeat this step on the side, cut it off nice and close to the bracelet, and then singe with the lighter. But remember, do not touch. It's very hot. So singe it, flatten out the lighter, and then once it's cool, you can do that. So now it's all finished, so you have a nice new bracelet. To make the paracord keychain, we are going to take our paracord and fold it in half and create a loop and take our carabiner and bring in that loop up behind the carabiner and then take our ends and feed them in through our created paracord loop, like so. And then we're going to pull the paracord through and we're going to make a nice snug loop on the carabiner like so. Next, we're gonna grab our key ring and we're going to take our ends, like so, and feed them through our key ring, pull it up, and you can determine how long you want your keychain at this point. Um, I'm gonna go off one I've made previously and it's about four and a half inches long with the, um, with the paracord, so I'm just gonna measure it up against this one just so they're the same size. So I'm gonna measure it and 
just get our, get my length here. You can make it as long as short as you want. I wouldn't make it too long because you won't have enough cord. All right, to get started, we are going to get everything situated. We're gonna make sure that our uh, two end strands are separated and our middle is nice and straight. So we're gonna get started, Our take our right strand and loop it over and cross the middle and then take the left strand, make sure it's over that right and then push it back behind and pull it through the loop we made. So we're gonna pull it nice and tight. This can be kind of tricky because it does have a tendency to move on you, so just make sure you hold it nice and firmly and um, as you're tightening up that that cord up against it. So give it a nice good tug and then we're gonna start from the left. We're gonna make a loop, bring it over, cross it over the middle, make sure that right side is over the left and then push it behind and push it up into the loop and pull through through the loop, like so. Now you notice we have this little hump, so we're gonna start from this side where the little hump is. So we're gonna take our strand, right strand, cross the middle, like so, and then make sure that left strand's over the right Push it up behind the middle strand and up through that loop we made. And then give it a nice tug. The tighter your stitches are, the more uniform it's gonna look. So we're gonna start from this side because the hump's on this side. And we're gonna cross it over the middle Make sure that other strain is on top and then push it behind and through the loop and tighten. So we're just going to continue this weave and um, we're going to alternate from side to side. And those humps are really good indicators because whatever the last hump is means, it, means that's where you're going to start your next stitch. So if it's on the left, you're going to start on the left. If it's on the right, you start on the right. And that's good if you're going to set this down and pick it up at another time so you'll know where you left off. So now we're just going to finish this one up and then I'm going to finish up the keychain and then come back towards the end to show you how to finish it off. So now we are towards the end, so I'm going to do these last one or two stitches and just finish it off. I always, you can leave that last one empty if you want, but I always like to make it nice and snug. So I'm gonna put in one last stitch so it's nice and snug up against that carabiner. Now we're all done. So now it's time to clip our ends on both sides and you're going to want your parents or a guardian to help you with this step because you are going to use scissors and your lighter so we're just going to snip it off close to the keychain and we're going to take our lighter and we're going to singe the end like so and try not to do this in front of a fan like I did So I'm gonna cut off this next side, this last side, and I'll cut it as close as I can to the bracelet, I mean the keychain, and then I'm going to singe it with the lighter. And please remember, do not touch this um, singed fabric uh, after you melt it until it's cooled off because it is extremely hot. And do not do it in front of a fan. Now your keychain is all done. I hope you have enjoyed making this project and will join us again soon. To find out more about our Craft and Goes or other team programs, please follow our team Instagram and Facebook to stay in the loop. Thanks for watching.